17 minutes till 7 now. Ever since the start of the pandemic, you know, we've been warning you about the effects of social isolation on mental health, especially for senior citizens. But this morning, our in-depth reporter Anthony Hill is highlighting how some older adults are using virtual reality to stay connected and engage with the world around them, even though they might be physically isolated. So we've essentially reimagined VR away from this youth-based gaming culture to a very safe, secure and senior friendly platform. Imagine being able to see a Broadway show or take a walk in a country you've never been to. Well, it's possible. It's called virtual reality and many older adults suffering from social isolation are taking advantage of these teleporting goggles to experience life in a new way. We're just super excited about providing this service to so many uh, older people that are, you know, sometimes lonely, combating isolation, certainly with the pandemic, that's been a big problem. Um, but we also uh, provide a lot of joy that helps with um, some of the depression and anxiety that exists in senior living. Coming up on ABC Action News this evening, we're going in depth with how these goggles are having an impact on seniors living in one local assisted living center. It will break the isolation and yeah. You can take a trip and not leave your chair. <laughs> his name is Virgil Pitzinger. You'll hear more of his story on how social isolation affected him and how these goggles are making it easier for him to feel less alone and more connected. For Good Morning Tampa Bay, I'm in-depth reporter Anthony Hill, ABC Action News.